Polarization is one of the most polarizing subjects in all of science. Okay, so actually it's not controversial at all because we know how to use it and we know how to apply it and we can make some very overpriced sunglasses using the cool technology of polarization. Let's figure this out. Let's start this off by examining a few polarization examples. So these are some sheets that are polarized. So we can see through them pretty well until we turn them at right angles to each other. As we turn them against each other, it gets darker and darker and darker until you can't see them at all. Why does this happen? And you can interact them in various different ways. That's a very cool effect, but now let's get into exactly what polarization is. All right. You have just bought a nice pair of sunglasses and you notice on the lens it says polarized. So you put them on and you notice that something seems a bit different. You don't know what, but it's interacting with the light in strange ways. It lets you see underwater. What is going on? Well, let's break this down. I'm going to make this really simple and then I'm going to make it much more complicated by explaining how light interacts with different atoms. All right. So let's start with the sunglasses. Sunglasses can be polarized and that means that it's only letting in a certain polarity of light. What does polarity mean? Well, this is the electromagnetic wave model of light. So light is traveling in a certain direction and then coming off of that, usually vertically in a textbook, is the electrical portion of the wave and then horizontally the magnetic portion of the wave. The direction of the electrical portion of the wave is the polarity of the light. So typically in a textbook it's a picture like this where it only shows one wave of light. Now that's impossible. You can't just get one wave of light or if you can it's very very difficult. No, you're dealing with millions, billions, trillions of individual light particles or waves and that gets into some quantum theory that we don't need to get into right now. So we're not dealing with one light ray with one specific polarity. No, we're dealing with all of the light around us and every single light wave is kind of rotated around its axis. So instead of them all being straight up and down, they're going to be a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right and a little bit all the way around. In fact, you might have some light waves that are polarized sideways, some that are vertical. Who knows what else is happening? So that's where sunglasses come in. Sunglasses that are polarized only let in a certain polarity of light according to the polarity axis of the sunglasses, or in this case, a little piece of plastic. So say your sunglasses are vertically polarized, which means that it's only going to let in vertically polarized light rays. So anything that is off of that is going to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until it's totally horizontal and then those horizontal light rays aren't even going to come in at all. It's going to be completely blocked by your sunglasses. So that's how polarized sunglasses actually block out some of the light, but not all of the light. So how do sunglasses let you see underwater? When you put on your polarized sunglasses and you're looking around outside, the sun is giving away all sorts of non-polarized light. Your sunglasses will block between 30 and 50% of those light rays coming through the sunglasses just based off the polarity of those electric waves, of the electromagnetic wave that light is. So why does it reduce glare and how do you see underwater with polarized sunglasses? Well, when sunlight reflects off of a surface like water or snow or glass or a car, whatever, it becomes polarized light because when it reflects all of the electromagnetic waves that are running perpendicular to the direction of travel get reflected and align with each other. So when you look at it with polarized sunglasses, pretty much everything that has glare will be filtered out, even though the ambient light will be only like 50% darker. It's so cool. One other really cool thing is computers, monitors, are already polarized. So the light from computer monitors is polarized light. So here's a cool trick to see if your sunglasses are polarized. Take your sunglasses, look at a computer screen, and then rotate it 90 degrees. And if the computer gets darker or completely blacks out looking through the sunglasses, that means your sunglasses are polarized. That's a handy little trick. All right, let's get into the science of how polarization actually works. Now, for all of you smart Alex out there, I'm going to be sticking with the classical electrodynamic theory and not the quantum electrodynamic theory. Because let's face it, if you understand quantum electrodynamic theory, you probably aren't searching for a video on how polarization works. 
So, we're going to treat light like an electromagnetic wave and not like a particle. Now, let's investigate how light actually responds to matter, specifically passing through matter, like this glass. Now, glass and everything around you is made up of atoms. And what are atoms made up of? Charges, because there's the positively charged nucleus and the negatively charged cloud of electrons around it. Now, light is made up of an electric field, an electromagnetic field, but we're not going to focus on the magnetic part. And charges are affected by electric fields. So, light is hitting this glass, and it's actually not going through this glass at all. It is being completely absorbed by the charges inside the atoms in this glass. But I can see through it, you say. Well, yes, you can see through it, but not because the light is actually passing through the glass, but rather because the atoms in this glass are absorbing the energy and then vibrating at that frequency and then pushing out the exact same out the backside. So light comes in, it vibrates according to its polarity, the atoms and the charges in opposite directions, and then those vibrating atoms are creating the same energy out the backside, which we perceive as light. It's very cool. Now, polarization actually works in a very similar fashion, except for they're made up of long chains of molecules that are very tightly packed, which means that those molecules are very limited in how much they can vibrate side to side, and any side to side motion really wants to pop to vertical motion. So, when light interacts with the charges in a polarized substance like sunglasses or those little sheets that I have, the atoms inside will be wanting to vibrate up and down perpendicularly along the polarization axis. When the polarization of a specific light wave does not align with that vertical axis, it's going to resist and block out that type of horizontal vibration. It's so cool! And that is how polarization works. Now this is simplified, and I know that we could be getting a lot more deep into what this actually is, but those are two different levels of how polarization works. So what do you think? Did I not explain things clearly enough? If you have any more questions about polarization, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. We'll see you next time. I'm Jonathan Allers for Destructive Creativity. Bye!